What up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you the motivational tips you need to get your butt back in the gym. Tip number one is to update your playlist. I struggle through workouts when I forget my headphones. So update your playlist. If you don't have time to update your playlist, I'm going to recommend you two really great apps. One is called Fit Radio and the other one is Songza. My second tip is to change up your current workout routine. If you've been doing the same routine over and over for six months, no wonder you're not motivated and bored in the gym. Not only will changing up your routine give you more motivated, but it's gonna be a shock to your body. It's always good to keep your body guessing and that's gonna provide quicker results. I don't stay on the same plan more than four weeks. My third tip is to schedule a gym date with either a friend or your girlfriend or boyfriend, husband or wife, whoever, um, or a trainer. Nothing will get you to the gym quicker than knowing there's gonna be someone else there waiting for you, especially if you're paying for a trainer. Since I'm giving you no excuses, uh, if you don't have a friend or a significant other that wants to work out with you, um, then notice those people in the gym. If you're like me and I go to the gym around the same time every day, I see the same people there all the time. Just stop and talk to that guy or girl and uh, say, hey, we're always here at the same time. Maybe we can make this a thing to hold each other accountable. My fourth tip is to sign up for something. So this could be a 30 day challenge um, or something like a spin class. So for example, the spin studio that I go to, I sign up online and each class cost me $25, which is pretty steep. So if I don't back out of the class within 12 hours, I'm gonna be charged for that class. And there have definitely been times when I've not wanted to go to the gym and that has got me there. My fifth tip is to take your gym clothes with you. So say you work an eight to five job. Rather than come home and run into the possibility of getting cozy and getting too lazy to go back to the gym, just go straight from your work to the gym and then it'll be done with before you know it. My sixth tip is to take measurements. So I'm gonna give you three ways to do this. Measuring tape, do your arm, your waist, your hips, your legs, and record it and then update it every two weeks. A second way to measure yourself is to step on the scale. And that may be a really scary thing for people, but oftentimes when you see that number and you're not happy with it, that's motivation enough to get your butt to the gym. And then a third really good way to take measurements is by photos and progress pictures. Because a lot of times the scale doesn't tell the whole story. We all know that muscle weighs more than fat. So the photos don't lie and it's very easy to compare. I recommend not to stress out over this and only check it about every two weeks so you don't get discouraged. My seventh tip is to use social media. I mean it's everywhere nowadays. Follow some accounts on Instagram that you inspire you and if you're really lacking the motivation that day kind of scroll through see who you, follow your idols or also a huge thing for me lately is watching other youtubers there have seriously been times when i haven't wanted to go do cardio but if i'm able to watch a youtube video and props to those people out there that put up like 15 minute long videos that gets me through the session my night no <laughs> my ninth tip is to try something new so say you've been doing spin classes forever and they're just starting to get old, try something completely different. Go try yoga, go join a running team. You don't always have to be in the gym. Maybe you can seek out some different hikes outside that you wanna do, different changes of atmosphere, just something completely different that you're not used to. Just give it a try. You never know if you're gonna like it or not and it might be en enough to get you motivated. All right, my 10th and final tip, and in my opinion, most important, and what keeps me motivated every single day, is having goals. This is so important. Have long-term goals, have short-term goals, know exactly what your goals are, set end dates, and figure out the steps that you need to take to get yourself there. 